Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try to restore the paint on my vehicle. I had somebody do the hood for me when I was on my first helper tour in Kalamazoo. They did the hood, showed me how to do it with a professional style polisher, and I'm going to do the top. So first we're going to wash the vehicle off, and then uh, I'm going to take some trim off, and then I'm going to do it and let you see the difference between the side that I do and the side that's in the condition that it's in now. This is how the hood looks. It's in pretty good shape. Black just has very little clouding. But when you come up on the roof, you'll see that the roof has a lot of clouding. It almost don't even look black. It looks more gray than black. And that's over the sunroof. So I'm going to do half of the vehicle. And that's a little bit of sunlight on it. How bad the uh, condition of paint is in. Cloudy. I'm going to do the driver's half and leave the other half so you can see the before and after effects. First thing I'm gonna do is clay bar it. There's instructions on there. The before and after, before actually looks like my paint does now and the after, you can see and feel the difference. And it has instructions on there. It's got spray with it. So let me go ahead and show you how to use it. The first thing it tells you to do is wash the car and put it in shade. Then it says this has this quick detailer in the box. You want to miss the car with that uh, surface. Then you knead a clay bar in your hands into a small disc and rub the clay bar over the part of the vehicle that you missed. So you want to do small sections at a time and lubricate the surface to remove the bonded contaminants in the paint surface. Then after you have the contaminants wiped up or uh, clay barred out, you wipe the surface dry. So in the box you have your detailer, your terry cloth towel, and your clay bar. When you're purchasing this stuff from the store, be extra careful that you check your packaging because 9 out of 10 of these packages was actually missing the clay. So you don't want to buy a box of this stuff think you're about to get to work and the clay's missing so you want to knead the clay bar into a flat disc and now I'm gonna take the detailer and spray it on top of the car as you can see I took my roof racks off this part of the car because I didn't want nothing in the way of me getting all the way to the edges you want to do small sections at a time you wet it and then you rub the clay bar in in a wax in motion and you just rub it and as you can see I already got black coming up on my clay bar so do little sections at a time about one square foot rub it for a few minutes wipe it off and then move to your next section next time you spray the detailer on there and then you rub the clay bar into the paint just work it in little sections at a time don't try to do too big of a section because you want it to stay wet while you're doing it and rub it until it feels good and smooth and then you want to take your terry cloth towel and wipe it off so wipe it dry so that's what it's looking like coming off on the towel and on the clay and after i get a piece of the clay pretty dirty i just knead it around in there and start all over while you're rubbing on the clay bar and it's wet You'll see maybe like water spots or something while you're rubbing it in. And you want to keep rubbing until those spots are gone. You want it to just be a smooth, wet surface. And when you get done, you'll rub your clay bar side and it'll be real smooth. And you'll notice your other side feels a little gritty and sandy. So you got to rub the clay bar until it's a real smooth surface. After you get done with your clay bar, put it in your little kit. You don't want it to dry out. 
I guess you could check it every once in a while, make sure it's nice and soft. Or just wrap it up in some plastic so that it doesn't dry out on you, like a small sandwich bag or something like that. Since I have this cloudiness in my paint, I'm going to use a polisher and polish the surface of it to try to get this cloudiness out and bring it back to a nice black shine. First thing I'm going to do is go across the surface with this ultra cut compound with the corresponding pads for cutting. Then I'm going to go to the ultra finishing compound with that corresponding uh, pad and then I'm going to wax the surface of it. Here's the professional grade polisher that I got from Harbor Freight. It's a dual action uh, variable speed. Then I got the three pads. I got the cutting pad, which is the lightest orange, the uh, polishing pad, which is blue, and then the finishing pad, which is black. So I'm going to start out with the cutting compound and the orange, then I'm going to go to the polishing compound and the uh, blue, and then I'm going to wax it and hit it with the finishing foam pad. What you want to do is get some of the compound down there on the surface, rub the compound on the vehicle, and then you want to cut the polisher on. Don't let it sit in any space too long. You want to move both directions while it does its thing. And don't push too hard. You don't want to burn the paint. So. That's how the pad looks when you get a section done. Second section, you don't want this polish to dry on the paint, so you want to wipe off your excess polish and move on to the next section. So use that same cloth you were using or a different towel that you were using when you were using the uh, clay bar. Just get that polishing compound off. Okay, I'm just going in a level with the ultra finishing polish. And I want to see if you could tell the difference. This is how the vehicle looked before I started. Grayish paint finish. This is how the vehicle looked after the kitten compound. So it went from this to this. Now this is what it looks like with the ultra finishing compound. So it went from this to this to this. Now the finishing compound, you could take bigger bites, not too much bigger, maybe two, three square feet at a time, and you let the uh, polisher not sit too heavy on it, lightly rub over top of it until it's almost dry, and then you buff it uh, dry with the uh, terry cloth towel or some kind of towel. And then the car is actually stripped dry has no wax on it. After that is when you wax it. I did a final finishing polish on the hood on this half of the roof and along the roof and I'll show you that split between the roof and the other half. All of it was looking grayish like on the back there. I didn't split that in half but I can. But uh, here's the side that was not done, and here's the side 
that is done. So I'm going to leave this like this because I'm weird like that. And so people can see the difference between the finished product and the unfinished products. And now I'm going to wax the entire car, both halves. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.